Today, I'm going to talk about risk in the banking system and underwriting the bank that you bank with. Today's Wall Street Journal had an article on how KPMG, one of the final four accounting firms, had released a clean opinion on Silicon Valley Bank 14 days before it failed. It also mentioned nine other banks that had issues that had clean opinions as well. That tells you that the auditors and the bank regulators are way behind the curve in addressing risk in the banking system right now, period. That being said, you need to be aware of your bank because moral hazard is what it's called. And before it was called banks too big to fail. And those were now trillion dollar and larger banks. The two banks that have failed and the ones in trouble are far less than that, yet they cover their deposits and you as, as bank clients will end up ultimately paying for those in fees and charges. That being said, you need to be aware of what their capital asset ratio is, what the percent of problem with loans are, and a makeup of their deposits. The St. Louis Business Journal had a very good article last week on Commerce Bank, a regional bank based in St. Louis that has a very diverse deposit base, a great capital asset ratio, is unbelievably well run. Those institutions won't have problems, but you have to be aware that if you have over a quarter million dollars in the bank, you might end up in a not so good situation.